today we're making tags for our August assembly line junk journal challenge. Can you tell what I used for my three or more embellishments for these tags? I'll show you and how I did it. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with another segment of the assembly line embellishments we are making for our August assembly line junk journal for the challenge. If you would like information about that challenge, the details video is in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to make tags today. So I had gotten, this is some of the paper that came in that Dollar Tree package um, for a dollar. And it was that scrap pack of paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and start by folding the six of these in half. You'll see that they have little bits and pieces of things in the paper, which is really kind of cool. And especially with this kind of botanical, well, it's actually more of a butterfly. We started out botanical, went to, it, went to the butterfly. <laughs> So, um, so we're going to go ahead and there just happened to be six of them in there. So I'm going to make this for six of my tags. And I guess there's one, two, three, four. Yeah, six. Okay, so I'm folding these in half. And they, they're not square, okay? They're almost square, but they're, they are not square. So we'll fold them in half, and then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to cut up here a corner edge to make it look like an actual tag. We'll cut one, use the other one as a guide, and cut it. And then I think we'll just go ahead and use our, use this as our guide after that. Okay. So we're just gonna cut them, make them all the same. Can we cut two at a time? Okay, so that gives us our six tags. If you're here for the premiere, I'm waving hi and say hello to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. I'm so glad you're here and you've joined us. If you're here for the premiere, make sure that you come over to the chat and you say hello. And if you come in after the chat, do say hello down in the comments so that we can welcome you there. We have an amazing Facebook group, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie. We'd love to invite you to join us over there where there is a free digital waiting for you in the files section. And I made this cereal box journal during the Beginner's Junk Journal series. And it was a start to done series. And so the videos of me making the entire journal are there. I put the playlist for the entire Beginner's Junk Journal series right up here at the end of the video for you so that you can have some crafty company. We use the premiere format here at Dear Julie Julie, which means this is a pre-recorded video and we are watching it all together for the first time at the premiere. And it's a lot of fun because we're over there chatting and yep, it's great to have crafty company, um, especially these days. 
So let's get back to our program. My other three tags are going to be these here. So I want to use napkins. So I happen to have these came as Happy Mail. And so to start off with, let's go ahead and get the ply separated. That came off really easy. And I think I thought I had started one corner. So there we go. And okay. Okay, so you can put what you're using underneath and go ahead and cut. So we'll cut the four, the three, three panels out. So there's one. And we can cut these. Oh, I need, <laughs> I need a bigger desk. It's on my list of things to do is to get my craft room moved around now that I have the she shed and the warehouse um, some of this some of my stuff can go out to those places okay so this will give us our first three I'm gonna go all the way over because I need to save that Oh, my allergies are so, so bad. My head hurts. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody asked me, how do you know it's um, allergies and not, not the virus? I'm like, well, I'm, I feel like it's allergies. <laughs> Okay, so we can go ahead and put this on here. I am gonna sew these because I've really been enjoying the way things look sewn. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use my glue stick to put it down, okay? So since I am going to sew the edges, I, am, I think the glue stick is going to be fine, okay? So we cut all three. Now we're going to glue all three. Okay. And I would glue more at a time, but the glue will dry and then <laughs> that won't be fast. <laughs> right? So are you enjoying this challenge? And what do you like about it? What what is different? Cuz I'm the participation of what things what people already have made is amazing. Oh cool. This one this one wrinkled a little. Okay. Um there we go. Grab this. So we'll get all of them to the napkin stage and then we'll go sew it. Okay. So this is our third of the monarch butterfly. Yeah, I wanted this to be actually a little more generic, but then I looked at, at what I have and I have so much 
butterfly stuff. I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead. And the first one will be butterflies. So the other thing that you're going to see happen is I have several journals that are just about finished. So you are going to be seeing those journals get finished as well. Um, as well as that I will be getting things ready for the parties for the challenges that are finished. So, okay, so this one, now we'll go ahead and add these. So do you already do assembly line or is this something that is new to you? And if you're doing multiple journals at one time, have you done multiple journals at one time before? And also, did you see the new posts in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie? We have a prayer list post, prayer, prayer request post, so that, um, you know, if you are a person that prays, that we can actually go to that prayer request list and, and you know, when you have the time or you're thinking about it and you want to pray for the people in our group that have prayer requests, you can go straight to that um to that post and I think that that is going to be be um, really beneficial we also have an answered prayer place because I think you know sometimes that's something that gets overlooked and um, so we can we can post there our uh, answered prayers I think it's it's going to be really really awesome especially that in this group you know a lot of people do uh, do have prayer requests and a lot of people in our group do pray for each other and so I, I just you know, there you go The other thing is, is uh, um, I am looking for design team members, and so if you have an active social media presence and you like working with digitals, then I'd love to have you check it out and see if you will be a good fit. We are adding to our design team. Nobody, <laughs> nobody is being replaced. Nobody got fired. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have an amazing design team, and we've we've had issues every. Oh my gosh, all at the same time. We had things going on with several of my de design team members that. And I've always, I've always wanted to have 12 on the team, so, um, and I just didn't have time to be able to manage and, um, cause I, I also need to work on getting their, their perks taken care of. So, okay, so here we go. And look at all these pieces I'll have left that I can use. I'm going to cut from this side. I think that that's going to be um, better. Okay, so clean this up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all these. 
and we'll go ahead and fast forward through that. So here we go, we have our nine tags ready to be sewn. So I'm going to take them into the sewing room and sew down their edges. And it looks like we missed a little spot and a little spot, okay? So I'll be right back. So here they are. Um, I went straight stitch around these and zigzag around these and my machine is doing some funny zigzag. <laughs> so it's going big and little. I don't know. But I'm just going to go ahead and get there. It's on there. It looks great. We'll cut the strings. We'll go ahead and fast forward through that. Okay, so we'll save those pieces. So this is what we have so far. We have these three, these three, and these three. Okay, and so what I want to do is I want to start, I have this washi tape that has stamps on it. A variety of stamps and so I wanted to go ahead and put those on here. There's also some a postmark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we might ha have to double it. We've got one, two, okay, so stamp. We'll go with this airmail stamp on this one because there's room for it. Okay. Rome stamp. No, no rolling up. No rolling up. And then we have one that says airmail. One that says one cent. Okay, and then this one is really light. I think we'll put the light one with the monarch butterfly. Another light one with the monarch. Okay, and then this one. It can go with the yellow one. So sewing counts as one of your embellishments. Um, okay, so let's see. I've got a, I've got a collection going down here of other other things. Okay, I think we'll go with There we 
go. All these different kinds of, of stamps and then we have a light colored stamp again. Oh, we have the corner of, of this. And another light colored stamp. Okay. Okay, so um, I have these little guys, too big. Well, here we have we have our hole that we probably should go ahead and and use. So we have this fluffy stuff. What if we did another butterfly? the top with lace behind it. I like that. Butterfly at the top with lace behind it. So just fold over. Coffee dyed dryer sheet. So we have sewing, we have napkin, sewing, lace, washi, and then one more thing. I'll put a cancellation mark. And we'll do that last on each one because um, to let it dry so it doesn't. Okay, so that is the tag. We'll put it up there and let it dry. Put these over here. They'll be out of the way, but right here. Okay, so that was one with the yellow. So we need um, six of these. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, seven, eight, we need, we'll do those separate, so we'll have an extra one, that's okay. Fingers don't want to work. Okay, we have yellow. on the front, this on the back, right? Is that how we did it? Yep. I 
And I do two staples because I think it looks more like on, it's on purpose and more like art. And so that's just, that's just me. Okay. Put that up there so it can dry. And on to the next one. Little piece of coffee dyed dryer sheet. Oh, we need some more butterflies. The dryer sheet I did today is lighter. Three. So what do we have? We have a blue one, right? No, it's yellow. And that's blue. So we have a blue and a yellow, so we just need a red. I had enough of these. Oh, well. You can just go ahead and pull off a piece, just like that. Okay, so here's our lace pieces. Oh, there's the one. I told you there was one more. Okay. that's what that's what we have those three and then I'm going to go ahead and do the others and we'll fast forward it and there we have those and now we'll move on to to these and these because we have the hole we'll go ahead and Make them a little bit longer. We'll go ahead and go through the hole. Okay, and then go ahead and put this up and add our little butterfly washi guy on the dryer sheet. Okay. Okay, 
So there's those, and now we just need to add our cancellation to the stamp. I think that that is a great addition right there. Okay, so there are the tags, okay? So we have our nine tags. They have sewing, a napkin, washi, washi, dried, or dyed, <laughs> dyed dryer sheet, lace, staples, and stamping okay so they they are pretty full of embellishments you need to have at least three embellishments on top of each of your items so I think this is going to be really cool um, these tags open up and you can write in them we could go ahead and add uh, the scrap paper when we've finished um, doing the pages. Sometimes we'll have scrap paper that would fit in there, but the tags are there. So which one is your favorite? Um, you know, they these this time they're so similar, um, but I really like the way these ones turned out. And I love the way they feel, all of them. They feel amazing. And we did a little different collaging this time. We did random, but you can see um, we're still touching things. We touched the butterfly and the tulip. And then all of these things are touching. All of these things are touching. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Tell it you want all notifications so that you know when another video comes up or when we go live. We'll be going live a couple times this week. I'm looking forward to that. I've added the beginner's junk journal playlist up here. It has several videos if for your watching pleasure and company while you craft. And I will put a junk journal flip through over here. Thank you for watching those. YouTube really likes it and it really helps my channel. Have an amazing day. Bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.